Yo, what's up everybody, how's it going? Today we're playing Dota 1x6, which is of course made by Xeno. And we're playing as Void Spirit. Void Spirit, of course, is a very powerful, very agile hero, lots of magic damage. I picked Void Spirit because I clicked the random button and then it gave me Void Spirit. And we're playing the E-Build because I had a quest that said I should play the E-Build and win with it. So I thought, hey, I mean, I gotta do that. I don't want to let Xeno down. Every time I don't fulfill a quest, I feel like I'm personally letting Xeno down and we can't have that. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's the plan for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the game. Okay, we'll come in here, grab ourselves Boots of Speed, Quelling Blade, queue up some mana, and then uh, Dissimilate and slam this bad boy in here. Oh no, I missed! That's okay, it doesn't really make a difference here. Because these creeps die so quickly anyway, we can just take them down. And then we'll make our way into the jungle. What are we getting? Ooh! Nothing! <laughs> That's okay. We'll just pick up some magic resistance that could potentially be useful against the single magic damage dealing hero in this lobby other than me. Uh, but oh well. We're playing the uh, Resonant Pulse today. Uh, that's because I have a quest to get first place with Resonant Pulse. And so we're doing Resonant Pulse. Uh, we'll see how exactly this works out. I gotta be completely honest. I have, like, no idea how to play this. Um... Yeah, we'll just kind of, kind of see. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be a bit of a, you know, figuring it out as we go along uh, type situation. But, uh, hey, sometimes that's just what we do around here. So let's just figure it out as we go along. And we got these guys. Hello, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get one hit in on everything. And then pop. Nice. Ooh, I'll get some mana. That's very nice, actually. That's very, very good. Uh, we'll grab ourselves uh, mana boots, I think. That's like the first thing. And then after the mana boots, we can all already start working towards something maybe a little bit more fancy. Like, uh, do we go Radiance with this? I mean... What does this build do exactly? Resonant Pulse Shield absorbs any type of damage and when an enemy destroys the Resonant Pulse Shield, you apply a Strongness spell and become invulnerable for 0.7 seconds. So in other words, the Legendary does very, very little. Like, it could even be seen as being worse than the normal ability. <laughs> because it now gets uh, blocked, like you can also use magic damage to get rid of the shield. Okay. Then, we've got a bunch of other stuff that I'm hoping will make up for this. And this is where we're gonna see our first uh, epic that will hopefully help here. So, Resonant Pulse Wave slows all enemies by 50% for 1 second. When your Resonant Pulse Shield ends, you release an additional Resonant Pulse uh, Wave. Okay, that seems alright. That seems alright. We get ourselves a second wave. That seems like it should do something. I blow you guys up. Nice, very good. Aghanim Scepter reduces the cooldown, silences, and disarms. That's nice. Aghanim Shard doesn't help, but that's okay. I do like the other thing, though. And I do like the pulse uh, shooting out a second wave once it ends. That's gonna be helpful. Uh, now we just need a way to actually do damage with the thing, but I'm guessing that's coming up. I'm guessing that's one of these other upgrades. So, Resonant Shield, uh, Pulse Shield increases by 10% of my... Is it health? Of your missing health. And under the Shield ID, I heal for 15% of any damage dealt. So that makes me think Radiance. Alright, let's get out those cooldown reduction. Yep, we're a little late here, that's okay. Take down you, take down you. Yeah. Alright. I will get some spell amplification. We should have enough mana. We should have enough mana simply because our items will include some mana. Alright, being a void spirit, we're gonna want to buy something that gives mana. Ooh, hello, that's bad. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> so, since our items will include some mana, you know. 
We'll be okay. Don't need to buy too much more of that. Or choose too much more of that. I mean, I always think of it as a purchase because, you know, we are spending a resource with just that specific upgrade slot. But strictly speaking, we're not buying it. I suppose. Then, uh, I passively deal magic damage to all nearby enemies. Damage per second, 2 slash 3% of your maximum mana. So that is really something that I feel like should be part of this legendary. Because this legendary just kind of really doesn't do anything, does it? Like, it's just... Nothing. Which is a problem. That's for sure. I'm not saying that 0 0.7 seconds of... Damage immunity isn't useful. It oh, wow. <laughs> it is, but it's not really enough by itself. Okay. I see, we're already headed to suffering town. Should we just embrace it and rush a radiance? Is that just the way to, to go here? So, let's grab this. What other upgrades we can we get? Extra damage, status resistance, and increased absorption. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. The uh, main thing we've got going for us is we're next to a Terror Blade going ultimate, so that's good. Because it's terrible. <laughs> and then we've got, uh, we're next to a Phantom Assassin going for her ultimate as well. Which is actually, I think, also probably the hero's weakest build. So we have that at least, right? We're not immediately under too much pressure. Especially since these are also farming based heroes. And I'm guessing this is gonna be one of those farming caster heroes. So there's there's different kinds of casters. Uh, generally all of them tend to be worthwhile eventually. But there are some that just need a bunch of items before they can really get going. And this right here really strikes me like one of those. Where I'm guessing we're going to need to actually have a bunch of stuff before we really get to do anything significant. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Aha! -ha. There was our shield! Well, look at that! Very cool, very nice. Protecting us. We will get evasion? Or damage against creeps? I feel like we're gonna need damage against creeps, right? Like, I don't know how this build does enough damage against the late game. So, we're just, we're just gonna get some extra damage against creeps. That seems a little bit necessary in the long run. It will also speed up our farming, which is good. Alright, take down you. Then I will... I will max out the Simulate for now. And I don't think I'm challenging the Terror Blade. I mean, we could try to. But, like, let's be honest, are we winning that? Probably not. Like, I don't know what tools we really have to mess with him. We upgrade orb, resonant pulse damage, that's good. And there's also somebody else, there seems to be a juggernaut. Well, now that actually does have me slightly interested in the situation. No! God damn it. Yes, beat me up. Cool. Hey! That actually worked out nicely. <laughs> can't really... Like, really can't complain about that. I mean, okay. I can complain a little bit. I would have liked to kill the Juggernaut as well, but the creep stole it. But apart from that... Hey, we managed to get a kill on anything. Really, which I think is... Better than I anticipated we were gonna do in this early game. And it also really helps us close the gap to that Radiance. I mean, we're actually pretty close. <clears throat> Alright. Take down this stuff. Get ourselves the Resonant Pulse. Can I ask you guys something? You people with gardens. You people with gardens or porches. Or other outdoors areas that use them regularly. 
What kind of outdoors furniture do you have and use? Oh my. Alright. Hey, got her. Nice. Resonant Pulse Shield durability increases by 10% of your missing health. Under Resonant Pulse Shield, you heal for 15% of any damage dealt. Chair and table. Well, chairs. Because we have, uh, at our new place, we have a porch. And it's nice. I like it. And I want to use it. But I don't know how to use it, because I've never had that. <laughs> I mean, right now, we strictly speaking have a garden. But it sucks. Nobody uses it. Like, this apartment has three... Uh, like, this, this building has three apartments in it. And nobody uses the garden. Because it is... Um, tilted like it's on an incline which just makes it not fun you know all right cool we have radiance I like the radiance it's very good so I'm just gonna immediately buy a ghost scepter I think that seems like a fair easy thing to do Give the video a thumbs up. <clears throat> Very important thing, does the porch have a roof over it? No, it does not. It is... It's surrounded by, like, little trees. So you, uh... It is private in that way. But it is not got any sort of... Isolation from uh, above, I suppose. Is that something I should, should I try to get a little shed or something on there? Is that what you're saying? Because that's something I've been thinking about a little bit. I mean, it's not a priority. I gotta be honest. I am currently, like, living this fantasy of, yeah, we're gonna use that. But I already know I'm not gonna. Because <laughs> it's me. I know myself enough that going outside... Well, that's just not my, my cup of tea, you know? That's just not my specialty. My specialty. Ha! That's a pun that surely nobody has ever made before. <coughs> so, you know. There's my ghost scepter. But I can live in that fantasy for a little bit. I think I may. I think I'm permitted. All right, we're just gonna be farming a lot here. Do I do I buy Blink Dagger? Maybe even. Phantom Assassin is just roaming around. That's okay. Oh, do you want to go for this? Oh, what the fuck? Excuse you? That's just abhorrent behavior, I have to say. Am I hunted? Is that what's going? Oh. That hit the illusion. Oh, somebody got lucky. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. Okay, so if you end up buying furniture, it should probably be something that could be taken inside or something that can survive some crappy weather. Well, ideally, I want something that can survive some, some crappy weather. Yeah. I don't want to have to go outside when it's raining to put it back in, like, into the basement. I mean, I could, but it's raining. I don't want to go outside while it's raining. <laughs> like, no, thank you. That's like the the worst part, worst uh, time for me to have to deal with something like that. So we definitely get a Shiva's guard, right? Okay, there's a Juggernaut who is... Uh... Well, I, I got that. Uh, hmm... There's a Zeus, which is a little bit annoying, but also, maybe, you hit me. I'm still smoked, though. Oh, that's intense, dude. That's fucking crazy shit. Oh, why didn't it? Okay. It didn't want to skip over there. That's fine. 
I don't think I can catch this now. Oh, and now I have to deal with you? Oh, this is just becoming more and more fun by the second. All right. Okay. Now I got that kill. Somehow. <laughs> All right. <coughs> okay. Cool. Weirdly, uh, this actually worked out pretty well for me. <laughs> I think I came out ahead there. Pretty well ahead, too. So, nice. Here's my epic. You passively deal magic damage to all enemies near you. And the damage is 2% uh, of my maximum mana per second. Which, right now, is like 20-ish damage. Which is not good. Uh, but, like, it's fine. I've got Radiance, I've got that. You know, it's like one of those things. But I think it's just gonna add up. We'll probably buy Dagon. Should we get Dagon? We probably want to get a Dagon, right? I know the way. Mm. All right. No Sunder for you. Sorry. You passively deal magic damage 3% now. With so I'm rushing a Shiva Scott right now. I'm not convinced that's a great idea, but I guess that's just what we're doing. Uh, we might also, like, do I maybe want to prioritize Octarine? Like, we definitely want an Octarine so we can spam this a bit more. Hmm. Yeah, a big problem we kind of have with the Resonant Pulse is that it just kind of has a long cooldown. I'm gonna get the Shiva right now. Like, I know what we want. We want, like, Octarine, we want Shiva, we want Bloodstone, probably Hex, probably Dagon. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how many inventory with slots that would be, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, I know that uh, Sniper is gonna be the next character that, that was confirmed in the vote. Which is very cool. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm looking forward to it, if I'm completely honest. But I gotta be honest, I feel like... I feel like they have been enough kind of interesting heroes for a little while that now it is time for some garbage. And I mean, Sniper is gonna be garbage, right? Like... <laughs> but I suppose... I suppose the people have earned themselves the right to some garbage. If they want. If that's what the people wish. If that's what they desire. I deal 49 magic damage with this right now. It's not bad. It's like a second radiance that's going to continue scaling. Is this blocked? No. Okay. You're not a dagger build, are you? Hello. Alright, this BKB. Hmm. I don't think I can catch the Phantom Assassin. There's this now. Zeus. Okay, is he still here by any chance? Oh, he is. Hmm. It's not enough. I might even die. No, I'm fine. Oh, you are much closer than I thought you would be. Got it. Nice! Get out played, son! Get out played. <laughs> I think that was pretty good. Pretty happy about the way that worked out. I really need Octarine. My cooldowns are so long. This is why I personally don't enjoy Void Spirit that much. Uh, he's just got such long cooldowns. And I, I get that with Void Spirit, the idea is like, yes, you have long cooldowns, but you also have four abilities, right? Like, actually, you have a bit more than four abilities. You have long cooldowns, but you can spam 
with multiple abilities. So that's kind of like how you make sure you always have something going on. But my monkey brain sees the button and wants to click the button. And that's just it. I just want to click the button. You can't tell me to wait with the button. Don't tell me to hold the button until it's needed. I want to click the button. So I'm going to click the button. And uh, then all of then I've clicked all four buttons and then my stuff is on cooldown. And then I feel annoyed because all of my stuff is on cooldown. I don't like that. Oh my god, this slow. The slow with the non-stop spam. I'll just use this. See, there's just like a certain part inside of me that uh, deeply desires to click all of my buttons. And I just can't help it. Sorry. It's just this how it is. I'll take down this stuff. Thank you very much. Aghanim Scepter does not give two charges, by the way. Just want to make that clear, otherwise we would obviously get an Aghanim Scepter. And we disappear, and we reappear, and we get a kill. Cool! Plus 300 base absorption, let's go back. Then we'll just get you. I mean, honestly, this damage output is very respectable. I have to say, I'm actually quite impressed by it. Just the, like, passive damage, it adds up very, very quickly. Uh, disassemble here, unlock combining this, and here's our Octarine Core. Next up... Hmm. I kind of feel like I want the Agonims. But I don't know if Agonims is something that we want immediately. It does apply a silence and a... It applies a silence and a disarm, both of which are very useful. It also reduces the cooldown by 3 seconds. I think that's probably the main reason. It's probably the main reason why we want it. It's not so much the silence and disarm, although those are good too, but I, I do like the cooldown reduction. <coughs> Alright, let's just click this so we have it going on. Make sure that we are protected. Seems the Phantom Assassin is not actually that keen on fighting us. Cool, I like it. I'm happy. And I think now we uh, bully a Terror Blade again. Unfortunately, but sorry, buddy. This is the video game, after all. Okay, we got hit by Sunder. Oh, how dare you. So, I'm doing damage right now. Nice. Got her. Very good. Although, unfortunately, bad timing for us again. Because our base is going to take a little bit of damage. I mean, in a way, that's also good timing because, you know, our opponents are also going to be taking damage. But I would prefer not taking damage. <coughs> so, we'll take this. I will get. I gotta say, I would, I would really like some different stuff here. Um, I guess I'll get attack speed. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. None of those are particularly helpful. We're not gonna get any value out of it, no matter what we do. But I guess I'll take that. So, when Eva Remnant hits a target, all nearby ma enemies or receive magic damage equal to 50% of your attack damage. Or after casting Astral Step, your movement speed increases. Or when your health falls. I'm just gonna get the survivability shit. Ooh, that was bad of me. I just messed up. I just messed up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I think I get it. No, I don't. Ooh. That's a problem. So our damage is falling off. Right? Like, we've reached the point. The Terror Blade actually, like, got a harder or uh, hard now. So, we our damage is just falling off. Like, we just didn't do enough. I, how would I... Hmm. Maybe I need Dagon. <laughs> it's a Dagon time. It might also be useful to upgrade the Ghost Scepter. Just so I actually have, like, some spell arm from that. And, um... Also, very importantly, I can use it aggressively. Because right now, the Ghost Scepter didn't do anything as the Terror Blade. Yours? Well, yours isn't damage. Like, I, I need more damage. I don't need more survivability, really. I will get armor. Big fan of some armor. Lots of physical damage heroes here. Let's actually have a look around. Uh, I know the Phantom Assassin is ultimate. I know the Zeus is ultimate. I know the Juggernaut is... What is the Juggernaut? Ultimate. And Bloodseeker is W. So Bloodseeker we don't have to worry about. Because that build... I don't think it can do anything to us, honestly. We can just zip out of the ultimate. And um, Zeus is kind of scary, I guess. Phantom Assassin can potentially be scary. Depends on how well she's doing. But she's currently number one, so I guess she's doing well. Okay. There's the Ghost Scepter. Oh, she blinked over here. Hmm. Alright, it's fine. Let's disengage this. I honestly think that the Phantom Assassin is still a bit dangerous. Hey, Anon... <laughs> You're doing this. You always do this to me. Uh, Anon Ying Mus. Thank you so much for the eight months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll get this again. Sure, why not? Like, whatever. Let's get the defensive options. Let's make sure that we have some survivability. Now, the other stuff just wouldn't actually add that much damage. And I think it's just not really too helpful. Alright. Hmm. So I can't... I think I just leave. Honestly. I think the times of us killing the Terror Blade are just over. I don't think we can kill him anymore. Well, it'd be nice to Zeno. We're not mean to Zeno here, right? Like, can you tell Zeno to fuck off for dividing the player pool into four and in, uh, the increasing the queue time? People wanted matchmaking. That's really the only way you can get matchmaking. Player division. That's the whole point of it. It's to divide the player base. Sorry, if you want to be able to play against people off your skill level, then you're just gonna have to deal with longer queue times. There's no way to do matchmaking that considers player skill without also increasing the queue times. It's just not possible. Like, literally, conceptual, conceptually not achievable. That's not something that... Zeno can do anything about, then it's definitely not a reason to be mad at him about it. Okay. Alright, we'll get ourselves more of the secondary attributes, and then we'll finish up the E-Blade. I don't mind playing against people of higher skill. Yeah, but maybe they don't want to play against you. Like, you have a very selfish point of view there, don't you think so? We say, ah, but I don't mind playing against better players. But like, what if you suck? What if you're just a little scrubby boy that the better players now look at and you're like, oh my god, I have to play against this loser? Ugh. Ugh. I have to play against Joe Mama 96? Oh my god. Like, have some, you know, have some understanding for their suffering too. Alright, I'll get ourselves this. Uh, we got ourselves another book. So, uh, I don't know what I do with this. Do I try to kill the PA? 
I mean, if I knock out the PA, that would be huge. Can I? Oh no, this is gonna be such a throw, isn't it? <clears throat> I am um, gonna throw right now. I already noticed. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I guess this is what we're doing. <coughs> I guess here we are. Alright, so we've killed her once. I guess I'll get this. Hello there. What is that rant I just walked into? So that's not too bad. Hey, Ignacy, thanks for the 18 months. I appreciate it. So we've taken down her base. She's not buying back, which is a mistake. She should have bought back a while ago. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, very lucky silence. Very, very lucky silence. Alright, that's fine. That is okay. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks, Ignacy. I think we can all practice to improve our, sp our skills. Again, you, if what you're describing is only practice for you, right? Like where if you play against higher skill level players, then the only one that's practicing, the only one that's benefiting is you. Which isn't very, isn't being very considerate of those other players now, is it? And you got to keep in mind that Xeno needs to keep all players in mind, not just you. <clears throat> All right, let's go in here. And just punch this. And nice. Cool. Killed the most scary opponent. Okay, um... I think the Astro Step healing damage reduction, that seems nice. Dissimulate targets, receive a stun. I'll get the healing. I like the defensive options, right? That seems sensible to me. Okay, do we get hard or do we get Bloodstone? Probably get Bloodstone because it's a bunch of extra mana as well. We want to keep amping this up to, to just have more and more mana. And that's a kill. God, look at that damage output. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by how much damage we actually do. Isn't that crazy? Very cool. <clears throat> I had no BKB before, so there was no point of buying back just to die again and buy back later with BKB. Uh, sure, is this mine? No. I mean, I see the argument, but, like, ultimately, you need to challenge me. Like, I think, as the Phantom Assassin in that situation, your best play was to buy back immediately. After I kill you, you instantly buy back. And sure, you don't have BKB, but also I have cooldowns. Right? But I guess, ultimately, it was... No, actually, it wasn't fine, because the damage that I did to your base was what allowed me to then just walk in afterwards and finish it without needing to actually fight you a second time. Sure, you got a kill on me, but you needed to prevent that base damage in the first place. But that's just my opinion. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, 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 I don't like that they are targeting me, though. Ah, oh, the BKBs, they are a real problem, aren't they? Oh, my tower is under attack now, is it? Oh, shit! 
Oh, there's a creep wave going on. Oh, I was so busy talking. Oh, crap. Now we have to use our buyback. Why did I take this fight? Oh, I thought there was way more time until the creep wave. Oh, that's just... That's a big misplay. That shouldn't happen. That should definitely not happen. Okay. <clears throat> And take these. Finish up our bloodstone. Yeah, no, using buyback, I, I didn't have a choice. Those creeps would have killed my base. 100%. If they didn't kill it, it would have done so much damage. No, 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 no. I didn't have a choice. I had to buy back. Look at how much damage they did here. But it does suck. Like, that was just a mistake. I should have long disengaged that fight on the Zeus. Alright, Terror Blade goes down. Once I have my bloodstone, I'll have a. I have a bit more. Oh shit, I should have gotten the other thing probably. That's okay. I don't think it actually makes that much of a difference. We're unlikely to just get immediately slaughtered by somebody. I will get the simulate cooldown. Any cooldown reduction, I think, is great for us. Anything in that realm will do very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay. And my problem is the Zeus sniping stuff. So if I just stand on top of this, I'll be fine, right? Maybe I'm not. Oh my god, the silence lasts way too long. Okay, we'll be fine. We're not fine. We silenced again for a very long time. No, we got him, we got him, we got him. Alright, now the Zeus. I need to leave. Why choose this path? Or does it choose me? Siege wave. Can't stick around there. Can't stick around. If I stick around, we lose. Okay. I could have tried to kill the Zeus. Oh, Zeus is dead anyway. Zeus is knocked out, right? Yeah. I don't know if I can get there in time. No way. I can't get there in time. He's already dead. Right? 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Okay. None of this is mine. So Zeus is done. Weirdly, I actually think Bloodseeker is our scariest opponent now. Against Bloodseeker, we mostly need just like a dispel though. Like honestly, a Yules and we win against the Bloodseeker. I think Yules is just the way to go here in general, right? We consume this and we just get a Wind Waker and I think we're just fine from here. Okay. Alright. Be anime as shit if that makes you happy. Oh, oh I couldn't cast in time. Omni slash. I gotta form up a little bit, I think. I gotta form up for a moment. I gotta get that yours. Oh, scary, scary, scary. This is a close game. We also got minute 40 coming up. Um, which could be good or a disaster. <laughs> it really comes down to what we find. If we can get a Book of Shadows, we are in great shape. If we can get... Uh, if we don't get Book of Shadows, we get Force Boots or... Um, what's it called? The... Uh, Seer stone instead, that could be acceptable. But of course, if we don't get any of that, then we just fucking lose. 
That's it. So, uh, you know, neutral items. Great addition to the game. Crimson Guard. I don't think Crimson Guard is it. Like, my problem isn't so much that I'm getting attacked. I mean, like, yes, that is the problem. But it's not that I die quickly. I'm quite tanky. People need to attack me for a while. <coughs> the problem is that they can't. The problem is that they are able to attack me for a while. So what I need to do is I need to do something that prevents them from hitting me. And that's where I think the Yules will come in. While a Crimson Guard would be really good at making it so that if they hit me, they deal less damage. I don't want them hitting me in the first place. Right, so I think Crimson Guard with this particular build is actually tackling the wrong issue. Well, oh, this is a tough way for us, isn't it? Okay. Ooh, Juggernaut. How are we looking, buddy? Uh, he also buy, but he had to... No, he didn't buy back, he didn't buy back. But died to the creeps. Yeah, these creeps are actually pretty tough, particularly if you're a high damage build. Wow, yeah, both of them are struggling a little bit. Both of them are taking some base damage, which is good. Not because I will be able to do anything to their bases right now, but because I hopefully will be able to get here faster. Alright, so we got 15% cooldown reduction from the neutrals, which is also great. Alright, book, book, yes! Oh, that's huge. Alright, just disengage. Just get out of here. Just immediately leave this place. And uh, see what we can find in the books. I'll get a respawner. Ah! Okay, well that's kind of disappointing. That's not what I was hoping for, but I guess at least we've got a respawner and, uh, you know, maybe we can uh, scout something out. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have a base to save. <laughs> Like, that's always the annoying thing. If I had a base disabler right now, I I could probably kill him. I could probably do it. But, no oh well. I'll take down some stuff. Alright, I should be able to take at least one of these buildings. I think I'll leave it at that. One is fine. I also need to find myself a tier 5 here. So let's make that our priority. Ooh, they're fighting. Hmm. Interesting. The important thing here is that this means you are out of cooldowns. <laughs> and there's the buyback. Mm hmm All right, there's that. Got him. I don't know if I have enough to finish this. God, I wish I had a base disabler. Ugh, frustrating. Okay, we'll get the cooldown reduction. There's an epic. Uh, we will refresh here. All the simulate targets receive a stun. I think I'll definitely take the stun. I'm too low. I'm gonna die. I guess I would need to kill the Juggernaut again. Right? I would need to kill him a second time. It wouldn't work. We wouldn't be able to do that. I don't think I can kill him twice. Okay. Alright. Trigger that a second time. We get ourselves the stun coming in. I mean, this does 113 magic damage per second now. Which is quite a lot. So that's very good. <coughs> Creation. 
And now... Oh, Juggernaut died to creeps. Wow. Well, that's gonna make for a very even final duel here. Right? Because neither one of us actually has uh, what the damage boost. With purpose. Cool. So, what's our best play here? I think the best play is just to try and farm up 4,000 gold to get another epic. Oh, I wanna stash those away. I also need to get myself a... Uh, an actual tier 5, which would be nice. Mirror shield? God. Absolute garbage. Absolute trash. That's very unfortunate. Come on. Seer stone. Well, Seer stone it is. It's not great. It is in fact the opposite of great, but it's all I've got. So I guess we'll get a Seer stone. <coughs> I will get the Astral Step Void Mark. Damage increases by 5% of the target's missing health. We need to play around BKB. But that's really it. Oh wow, this really takes a little while, doesn't it? Okay. I think now we can go, right? Alright, cool. Pull him out. Nice. Got him! It's all about the Sable, friends. It's all about locking him down. Making sure nobody's running away from us. This time I'll play a bit more aggressively. Mix it up a bit, right? And now we just wait. Look, time is in our favor. Clean. Whew! I gotta say, I'm pretty impre impressed by how much damage this build did. Like, I didn't think it was actually gonna hit that hard, but towards the end game, we totally had it under control. Just because, uh, honestly, that passive AoE damage coupled with the Radiance and the spells actually quite a lot like was able to just wear people down i mean honestly i feel like against certain other heroes we would have done worse like if the phantom assassin or zeus were in the final duel we would definitely have struggled a bit or oh, dear god imagine the terror blade thunder build in the final duel i don't know if we win against that but against simple right clickers yeah we can do that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up i we'll definitely appreciate that and i'll see you guys tomorrow goodbye